Here are five ideas to make you a better goal scorer and help you improve your shooting. Number one, focus on your footwork. So the steps you take before you hit the ball are so important. Whenever possible, try not to be lunging for your shots. You wanna move your feet quickly so you can get on top of the ball. So sometimes you'll have to do quick little stutter steps, but really just focus on getting to the ball rather than lunging for it. You don't wanna be flat footed. You don't wanna take big slow steps. You wanna be light on your toes, quick to react, get on top of that ball so you can do everything possible to control that shot and produce the best shot that you possibly can. So number one, focus on your footwork. Number two, just hit the target. So many of us are concerned with like hitting the hardest shot we possibly can, putting a hole in the back of the net, when in reality, it's more important that you're consistently hitting the target. I would much rather you hit the target five times out of five rather than miss the target four times, but one time you hit an incredible shot in the top corner. So take pride in hitting the net at every chance that you get. Number three, you really want to develop the skill and the ability to hit those bottom corners with pace. This is where I score a majority of my goals. This is where most goal scorers score a majority of their goals. 66% of goals scored in the Premier League last year were in the bottom corners, low, hard, and in the bottom corner. So focus on getting your shots on target and hitting those bottom corners. So important. Step number four, learn to control your body. So when you're hitting your shots, focus on the way that your body is facing. If you're missing the net to the left or the right, I want you to stop and look at where your body is actually facing. So swinging your foot in one direction is a good first step, but next you wanna focus on the way your head is facing, the way your chest is facing, the way your torso is facing when you make contact. Try to direct your body towards the goal. This is gonna help you get your shots on target. And finally, the most important tip, get your repetitions in. I am at my best when I'm doing this sort of finishing couple times a week. I promise if you get out with a friend and you practice real game situations shooting, so not just hitting free kicks, not just hitting dead balls, but actually trying to replicate game situations, playing little combinations, making it match realistic, shooting when you're tired, shooting in different variations, you're going to get sharp. You're going to feel more confident in front of net. It's going to give you fitness. It's going to help you with your touch, with your passing, but most importantly, you're finishing your confidence in front of goal. So get those reps petitions in. If you could get out to the field every day and do this sort of thing with your friend, I guarantee you in one week, you're already going to feel like you're a better goal scorer, a better striker, and you're going to be better at shooting the ball. So I hope you like these five ideas. I'm going to do some more videos and give you guys some more tips because there's so many things to talk about when it comes to shooting. But these are five ideas I want you to focus on. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give me a thumbs up. It really helps me grow my channel. Please make sure you're subscribed so you're coming back for more videos every single day. And make sure that you share this video with your friends and teammates if you want to help them improve. If you have any questions on shooting, just drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow.